goodness, dude. I'm just chilling here in my bathtub, man. All right, so check this out, guys. Before this video gets started, I do want to mention that we just dropped our very first Christmas shirt in the long sleeve. These suckers are super fire. You got the Christmas lights wrapped around the gun squad right there. I absolutely love that. And honestly, there's not very many of these. So if you guys want to cop you on and help support your boys, be sure to visit gunsquad.com. But as of right now, let's get to the video. Full speed! What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today we are here at the new Goon Squad headquarters. And as you guys seen in the previous video, we had a lot of stuff going on. We had the sheetrock guys come out here and knock out the whole entire upstairs of this house. All they got left is the downstairs, which I believe they're gonna come out today and get that all finished up. And we even had a brand new container delivered here to the new Goon Squad property. And we got everything nice and organized from the inside of the house to the outside, just giving us a nice, clean working environment. And we even finished up painting all the hardy. All we got left is a little bit of trim work, which we're probably gonna knock that out first thing this morning. That way we could say we got the paint 100% finished up. And also I believe we're gonna have the dumpster guy come out here and take our old filled up dumpster and drop off an empty one because we will have a lot more trash. And on top of all that, if all goes as planned, we're gonna have something else super epic delivered up here to the mountain. So we're super pumped about that. But as of right now, we're just gonna get straight to work, hop on the back of this house here and hopefully knock out all of that paint. Alrighty guys, so check this out. We just got done doing the rest of the trim paint on the bottom section of the house. We got a little bit more to go, but anywho, what do we got here, hey, dude? Hey man, they dropped us off a brand new dumpster. They actually took our old one and dropped this one off. And dude, check this out, man. It's about half the size. It's a little <laughs> half dump here. This, this could be a good swimming pool, dude. You dig this sucker in the ground? Swimming dumpster, man. And just then go dumpster diving. <laughs> dumpster diving in a pool, but that's pretty crazy right here. I wonder why they didn't bring us a big one, dude. Maybe our, because we didn't call the dumpster company. We called a contractor. Yeah. And he called the dumpster people. He probably knows better because I don't think we'll need like a bigger trash can anymore because that thing was like when we first started on the house, like all the dump, like from the siding, all the interior stuff and stuff like that. Now we're just going to basically just throw in what sheetrock, a few cardboard boxes and stuff yep, like that. And this is going to allow all the people that are going to be working in the house to come out here and just throw it in by hand instead yeah, of reaching easier. so high. You know, that other dumpster was tall. Oh yeah, it was tall, but hey man, this should be half the price. That's what I'm <laughs> saying, man, because it's half the size, 50% off. <laughs> Off, man. But I don't think they go by like the size of the dumpster. I think they actually go by weight. So like the heavier it is, heck, you can make this one cost more than the previous one, you know, fill oh, it up yeah. with rock or something. They like probably that. just drive over scales or something like yeah. that. But it also came with a little bit of trash yeah, here, man, which a little, little bit, bit upset trash. about. No, no, no worries. Deal, a little bit of trash here and there. We'll definitely probably fill it up though once they take it away for the very last. This should be our last dumpster, you know what I mean? Hopefully. Hopefully, hopefully. our last dumpster because these things are not that uh, cheap. I think it's I mean? going to be like 700 bucks. If I'm not mistaken, for the first dumpster, the first, dude. First dumpster, but anyways, dude. Let's get back. Uh, we're actually gonna move up to the deck and finish up all the trim work up there.
Alrighty guys, check that out. We got all the trim painted and it looks absolutely amazing. Oh, oh <laughs> I thought that was our special package that we ordered. Almost, I was excited, but I'm, I'm excited too. The sheetrock guys are back out here, which means they can finally start on the downstairs. Dude, let's dude. walk through right quick and let's show you it. guys what's going on inside. First of all, it's all the trim is painted, looking amazing. We did a few touch-ups, but let's go in here to check this oh, out, man. My this looks insane. It almost looks like a totally different, like, room in the house now that all the uh, almost called that plywood sheet rock is up there's a few little pieces like that piece right there that they got to finish and like above the door here and there but dude all the rooms and everything i mean let's just walk down over here to the master man right here's that bathroom right there and we got a laundry room which they put the special type of uh sheet rock this is like for moisture it's kind of like a moisture barrier so they put some on this side from the exterior of the bathroom or wherever they use it but our master bathroom over here got it all in here, dude. This is crazy, dude. dude. This looks awesome, dude. It almost looks like a paint booth in the living room for some reason. I don't know why. Dude, because of the ceiling like that, we're just used to painting in that one paint booth. But, dude, this is just amazing, dude. Can't wait to get it completely 100% finished off. I can't wait to get the downstairs with some uh, sheetrock because that's going to look crazy, too. I think dude. that's what they're going to work on today. Hopefully, they get it all knocked out. But right here is going to go uh, the, what is the, it called? I think Dura Rock. It's called Dura Rock. It's like a really really strong concrete board that goes on there and that's where the like everything else the tile and stuff sticks to hey let us know if you guys think we should do the tile or not i don't know we haven't decided on that or should we just hire a professional that because way? we want something awesome in the bathroom so we may i don't know may end up doing that ourselves who knows man hey, we'll decide we'll let you guys decide but other than that everything looks good the ceiling here i think they're going to throw sheetrock on that this little room, honestly, this room feels like it got smaller for some reason. Doesn't it feel like it got smaller too? It definitely got smaller after all the sheetrock is on. I mean, this is a tiny room. I guess we can fit like a twin bed in here or probably a queen. Who knows if we push it, maybe do it this way, just a guest bedroom or something like yes, that. Yes, sir. I don't know if we mentioned this, but a lot of people have been asking who's going to be living in this house. <laughs> well, the main, uh, the main liver in this house is going to be me, right? Yep, you and your wife, and my plan is to live in the garage, and there's going to be a living quarters in the garage yeah, once dude, we get that built. Yeah, once that garage is built, it's going to be full on, like, almost a house up there. It's going to have, you know, full bathroom, master bedroom, kitchen, and all that good yes, stuff. Yes, Let's walk and talk here, but I can't wait to actually live out there. For now, I'll live with parents, you know? I, I mean, we got to guest bedroom, <laughs> bud, and you can stay in there if you want. I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll decide on that later, you know, but other than that, dude, everything is coming along. I love how they're cutting everything out so perfectly, dude. Yeah, dude, the cans look really good in here and all that good stuff, man. Yes, sir, but I'm loving the windows as well that we went with. Just like, everything is just flowing so perfectly, it's dude. It's awesome, dude. But before we actually just continue moving right along here, let's, let's talk about this back here. We didn't really get to get a good glimpse of this. The trim just looks absolutely insane, dude. Dude, that's what I said, dude. The back, or the deck yard not just the backyard the deck yard the deck area over here is gonna look really good because dude we got trim at the bottom around every window just all that good stuff so it gives it that good two-tone color and we're gonna uh, paint the trim around that door and throw the door on it's dude, gonna look even better i man. can't wait but anyways i guess we're gonna keep on working here maybe go grab some lunch but we already talked to this the care package guys the care package guys so we may not be able to go get lunch we may have to just sit this one out and wait for it just dude. sit tight here yeah uh, i guess we're just gonna decide i hear like some squeaking is that bright like we every single noise that we hear we're like just like what is that them or not but i guess not <laughs> it's probably more sheetrock guys yeah i guess up. we just have to sit tight be patient and hopefully something arrives let's do it Did I hear them? Dude, I hear something pulling up, man. I hear a bone stock F-250, if I'm not mistaken. I say we go to the road, bro. Dude, let's go. It's, time, dude. <laughs> it's about time. We went ahead and painted the top and the bottom of the gutter, all the finishing touches. We're going around a few edges with the brushes as well. 
Yep. I mean, we're we're done here, man. We're done here we're for done, now, dude. dude. It looks amazing. We untaped the windows and everything is just popping, dude. But, dude, I say we go over there towards the road Let's and see, go, what's, see what's pulling in, dude. We are, like, you can hear stuff pulling up because uh, yeah. the road is, like, not too far that way. Yeah, you can hear something, like, struggling. So, um, something big, man. Something dude, big. something big. Dude, that machine that we got is huge, it's man. Be crazy. Let's go check it out, man. This is the biggest oh. piece of equipment that Kubota actually carries, the KX080-4 right here. The Super Series 2, man, this thing is a beast. This is their heaviest piece, too. This is like 20,000 pounds. This thing is insane, man. Oh, my goodness. And the reason why we bought this thing is because, let us know. Dude, we're going to dig a pond with this thing. Exactly and what you gonna said. we're going to dig a bunker with that thing, man. We needed something. And, and we're going to be digging foundations, man. Everything, what? dude. We're going to be do doing so much with this piece. And we, I mean, we we're tired of borrowing that piece of equipment from our brother all the time trying to like run like an hour away to grab it and then run back here just back and forth with dude. it and it's just the best investment for us dude exactly this you can never go wrong with investing in heavy equipment especially a skid steer and an excavator because you can literally make your money back with working oh yeah man you basically we can start our own excavating company here soon and of man. course we financed this sucker because you know that's a lot of money on the line i believe this piece right here is somewhere around a hundred and forty thousand dollars if you finance it that's like two grand a month but this thing is well worth it man this dude. is just an absolute beast i mean just look at the look bucket at this alone. bucket oh my look god the bucket alone and this crawl is up not, in that thing now this is not even the biggest bucket they got bigger buckets than this dude this is legit that's man. a tub right there this man this is a tub but dude even crazier one of the best features is this claw right look here look at dude. that huge claw this oh my goodness is insane you know what this thing this thing is perfect for picking up big logs like that which i'm about to try in a minute just pick that huge tree up ripping stuff apart dude you can do demolition with this piece right here dude, dude you can do so much and this thing can pick up like upwards to 12 thousand pounds which we can pick up that, that container entire up to container the top and set it in the ground whenever we whenever time comes dude, dude look how massive this piece is we might have to uh, bring the skid steer out here and do a little tug of war challenge dude we're gonna have to but i don't know man that skid is the skid has more horsepower than this but this one's a little bit heavier so that would be kind of a perfect challenge yep, you know this I mean? right here weighs twenty thousand pounds this is almost as big as our forklift or as much as our forklift yeah, at the house dude, dude it weighs just as much but the reason why it weighs so much because you can do so much with this with this whole entire claw right here man you can dig super deep like what like 15 feet deep or something 15 like that feet deep oh my goodness look dude, at this this thing is amazing man dude this i can't even crazy. believe i can't even believe we got this over here and we own it dude this is just unbelievable dude, man dude, we couldn't have done it without you guys that's man. one that's what i was just about to say without you guys none of this stuff would be possible this house this property nothing here at all dude this man. is just insane man we're just trying to push some of the greatest content for you guys and uh there is some awesome content to push with something like this dude, dude man we appreciate each and every single one of you guys so much you don't even know from the bottom of our hearts man we it's love amazing. every single one of you guys Definitely. our true fans man y'all are a blessing to us dude. true blessing and you know what we're gonna keep on putting out amazing content for you guys as much as possible but and dude uh, that's just, just like this is like dreams and goals coming yeah, dude, true man, man. This is just insane man this is crazy dude we went from something super small something something that we were doing for for fun and it happened to be like this crazy and it turned out like, like this. this like we started from the house no garage remember where we started on that concrete dude, pad just on a concrete pad dude in front of our uh, parents little like one by one garage door something like that 
But dude, this ain't even this ain't even nothing. Dude. We're just starting right we're, now. We're dude. just getting started, we're man. Just getting started, man. Blood, sweat, and tears, and you might as well just keep on persevering and just fighting. You know what I mean? Dude, we got some, um, dude. And the thing is, this ain't nothing because we got some crazy stuff coming here real soon. Some crazy awesome content. I know a lot of you guys been asking about our old shop on on, on another car dude. build, which we got our eyes on some epic stuff here coming in here real soon. Yeah, dude. you guys just gotta bear with us. I know we're doing some house content here. Some people are not too fond of it but you know what you guys just got to be patient because, because with this comes bigger and better you know what i mean what with this is going to make us work uh, harder and push forward to more and bigger things you know what i mean exactly i couldn't have said it better myself you know with this comes bigger and better yeah, stuff dude, you know wait what I mean? until we get our garage built here and we did mention in a couple videos ago a little hint of our big massive garage out there in downtown chattanooga dude that is coming here real game soon. Changer, game changer we're running like change. that's one of the main reasons why we're trying to get some of these heavy equipments that way we can build some of these empires up you know what i mean hey what you said man might as well go it's big go big or go home go big, you know what i mean home, but dude this is crazy let's do a little walk around, dude, around let's this do thing, it dude. first off i guess let's start at the boom here yes. of course we already mentioned the two foot bucket with a little chain attachment right here where you could lift dude this would have been so perfect for to the do rocks. those rocks man with the with the thumb on here dude that claw would have just picked them up with ease but dude we got four different types of buckets that are going to come with this we just went they're going to hook us up huge shout out to Kubota of Chattanooga because they're they they made all this whole entire process just amazing huge you know? shout out to Chase as well yeah, man. Chase huge shout out man if you guys want to get into like a Kubota or something they they don't only do heavy equipment like this they do farm equipment they do lawn mowers they do side by sides they do it all man dude and Chase is the go-to guy I mean he's gonna hook it up he's gonna make it happen fast dude, dude I'm gonna oh, tell you yeah, that right definitely. now I mean just look at this the other day we were talking to him the next day he's like hey I'm delivering it I mean, look how huge that is dude that's made out of some serious material right there some metal and stuff like that a bunch of hydraulics and of course you got this uh, blade yeah you got this blade that way you can straighten stuff out with it when you're done with it and stuff dude, like there's that. a bunch of i mean the grease points are actually the same as the other uh excavator yeah, I mean, you but got, you got this point right here the grease grease points right here i mean you got i mean it basically tells you wherever you want to grease this, dude, this thing, thing is probably going to take a ton of grease you know dude, what i mean a ton of grease probably two tubes the the skid steer takes one tube once you grease everything up this will probably take two who knows maybe it'll take one tube. Oh my goodness go ahead crack this open we I already got, gotta get the key to crack this open Dude. grab that key look at this this is the super series 2 yeah, what does that mean Series two, that means it's hvac got a radio in it everything you know fully enclosed and of course we got the rubber tracks you could get the steel tracks for this uh, uh excavator here but we went ahead and went went with the rubber yeah, track steel route. tracks are only good like if you're always on dirt 24 7 if you try to drive on concrete with them especially good concrete you don't want to mess up it'll definitely like it'll put like scars in the concrete so oh, yeah. rubber tracks are perfect for everything change them out they're a lot cheaper to change out as well too metal tracks are super expensive okay let's go ahead and crack something over crack this engine let's bay crack open. the engine bay over okay. here does you know how many horsepower this thing is it's 80? 80 80 horsepower 80 yeah horsepower. that's what they go by that doesn't seem much but you know what this thing is very capable very powerful i don't even know how to use this this opening mechanism are you yet. serious dude <laughs> we'll figure that out oh there it goes oh let's see this dude, sucker so this is a four-cylinder diesel right here oh this goodness. this engine is a little bit bigger than the one in the skid steer but it's just not as much horsepower because it needs more torque to like handle this heavy piece of equipment so i mean this thing is this insane looking look at the exhaust of man. course it has crazy. a def and it does is it does it have a def yeah this does have the def i believe i believe all the new heavy equipment has to have def so a bunch of coolers i'm sure this is the the radiator, radiator. Some is this turbo coolers. or not i don't think it's turbo uh i don't know no i think they are turbo if Let's this is turbo it'd be awesome we might put a bigger turbo on it eventually but too yeah, yeah there's a turbo back there there's a little turbo all the way back there little, definitely a diesel turbo on little turb ski in here nice immaculate engine bay let's go ahead and crack open this next area right here see what's going on oh my goodness dude holy moly <laughs> what is that that's all the hydraulics Dude, and this stuff this is the whole entire hydraulic system this is basically what operates this whole entire machine dude from everything from spinning to the claws to everything dude this is is this is just insane looking man where do, where do you even start whenever you try to replace something like this dude, dude? i have no idea we're definitely going to be having to take this sucker to the dealership to get service and all that good stuff i think what this is, is a main like shut off switch to all the hydraulics if a hydraulic dude if a hydraulic bust dude it's super dangerous 
street. Yeah, definitely. So. It can pop really hard. I mean, these little lines is really not that big of a deal. You just got to turn it off whenever that does happen because all your hydraulic fluid will come out. And this is our fuel tank right here. This is how you got to put fuel in it. So you yep. got to open this up and fill it up with fuel, which we already have a full tank. Huge shout out to Kubota of Chattanooga. Of course, once again. had to hook it up. But that's pretty much for the exterior. We went over it. It's the basics, so, you know, basic excavator setup. Now let's just hop into the interior right quick. Dude, let's go. Of course, it is HVAC. Tons of visibility, right? Yeah, tons of visibility, dude. You can just see 360 around here, dude. This is just amazing, dude. Got a little and sun yeah, visor thing. Got a thing. little sun visor. That way, whenever you're like working at something really high, you can actually see it instead of you know like ducking over or something like that. Super comfortable. I don't know, spring-loaded air ride seat, something like that. You got your forwards and backwards and your steering and stuff like that. And you actually put this thing down right here to lock it in, basically allowing you to use the control. That's how the old like. excavator was, exact same yeah. way. Basically the exact same controls and everything, just with the HVAC. And, and dude, not only that, if you got good air outside, just pop what? that sucker open. And this front glass will slide up. You can get this out of the way and all that good stuff. And this opens up right here, forwards, backwards. I mean, just anything, man. Got a radio already installed. Yep. There's really no need for a reverse camera we we're thinking about doing a reverse cam but there's no need for it in yeah this, you right? got it you got a big mirror right here you got another mirror right there and you got a mirror right here whenever you close this thing down and you can see out the back so this is just perfect man dude, this is epic dude i can't even believe this right now dude, dude this is crazy <laughs> go ahead and close this door this, it's pretty cool how this door actually works too look at this sucker you just what that is super legit. And it man. locks perfectly like this. You know, you just lock it. You can have all this open like it is right now, and it feels good, man. The only one thing that I didn't like about this machine is how it didn't come with LEDs, but that's just standard, standard Kubota right there. Yeah, that's standard Kubota. What, I wonder if they actually sell replacements for this, and you just plug and play like some nice high-powered LEDs. You Ooh, know what I mean? Ooh, that's something we need to look into, or maybe yeah. just doing our own custom LEDs. I know Chase was telling us to do some underglow. I don't know if we'll go <laughs> go that route. You some uh, multi-color changing underglow. What? something. Like I've never seen but that done before though. Never seen not, it done. We can be the first, but dude, it'd be nice to just have like a light bar at the top or something like that. Heck you know? yeah. Oh my goodness, look at this, dude. Is that all welds? Dude, that is all welds. And this is cast iron right here, I think. I believe. I don't know, but look at it. It looks it cast. Looks, it looks cast. And so does this right here. Oh my goodness. This sucker is that's, gonna be that's the up. strongest parts of this whole entire thing i believe right there dude, dude. this sucker is going to be an absolute beast but i guess it is time to put it to the paces hey, I, I see those logs in front of me and i'm just tempted to pick them up with this thumb dude let's do it let's man let's do it thing so tricky dude dude it has some different controls it's way different from the mini x that we're used to this thing i mean you just got to get used to them but dude exactly it pulled those two, uh, one rock that split into two and it took those suckers out with ease man look at that man we could never get that out we tried with the skid steer we tried with the other excavator that we had out here but this right here no struggling at all the only struggle was a uh, user control you know yep, what I mean? trying we to just, figure it out we need to have a driver mod in here next time but anyways dude the thing is an absolute beast we had pops test it out everybody tested it out this is basically just a roller coaster that's probably what we're going to use it as but you know what sometimes you just got to stress relief some <laughs> yep you got to dig some holes which we are going to be doing some big holes here real soon and a few other things are planned with this piece of equipment yes, right sir. here we got dude. some huge plans you know pops is probably going to be running it a lot but you know there's so much to do with it we're all going to be running these suckers you know the the esca the skid steer and the excavator but as right now it's getting a little dark on us the sheetrock guys already took off they got a lot of stuff knocked out we'll probably just show you guys tomorrow in the morning 
Alrighty guys, so it is actually the next day here and that is pretty much gonna be a wrap for today's video. It is a Saturday and we got the sheetrock guys back out here. They're doing their final touches. We'll probably do a walkthrough a little bit later. And also in the next video, we're probably gonna do a lot more testing with our brand new excavator. That thing is just an absolute machine, dude. I can't wait to put it to the test. Can't wait to start digging ponds. Whatever we gotta do, drop that in the comment section down below. Let us know what you think we should do with it first. But with all that being said, make sure your post notifications are on so you don't miss out on anything. And also, if you want an inside scoop before YouTube, definitely give us a follow on Instagram at Goon Squad. But that is going to be all, guys. Thank you so much for all the love and support. Be sure to drop your comments and thoughts down below. We'll catch you guys next time. Peace.